It is a fool's errand to think that a third party can win in this country. The 2024 presidential race is fired up, now less than six months out from the key Iowa caucuses. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis defending a major shakeup and shift in strategy for his campaign after sources say he fired roughly a dozen staffers with more dismissals expected. The team apparently navigating a cash crunch after hiring too many staffers early on. We raised more money than Donald Trump did into his campaign, who of course was the former president, yeah. and yet they try to spin that negatively. In Florida, GOP frontrunner Donald Trump taunting DeSantis for even entering the race. And his establishment has are wasting such precious time and resources to divide the party. The former president has yet to commit to the first Republican presidential primary debate in August, something his most vocal challenger, former New Jersey Governor Chris uh, Christie, called cowardice. Come on, Donald, get on the stage and defend your record. You know, if you want to be the nominee, you need to defend your record. This as candidates release their latest fundraising figures. Trump raking in over $15 million, DeSantis with over $20 million, though he relied on big dollar donors. Candidates like Nikki Haley and Tim Scott in the middle of the pack. Christie netting just $1.6 million and Mike Pence at just over a million. Each of the GOP hopefuls vying to take on President Biden, who raised close to $20 million in the second quarter. One of his staunchest allies pointing to any third-party candidates as a hindrance after a group formed and is raising money on the idea of a unity ticket. It is a fool's errand to think that a third party can win in this country. They will be a spoiler. Biden's campaign closed the quarter with more than 20 million cash on hand, which is about even with Trump and rising GOP hopeful Senator Tim Scott. M1, ABC News, Washington.